Well, now I'm out of breath after carrying that in. This is the new piece of steel. It's a 3 by 3 inch tubing, 8th inch wall. It's the same thing that they had on the tongue before. And uh, I've cleaned off the spots that are going to be required to be welded. And now I just have to clamp this down and also be able to make sure that it's going to be straight in relationship to the trailer so that there's no walking. Well, I have measured all of the distances and it's equal as down to the sixteenths as far as I can measure and it's pretty darn exact. So the next part is I'm going to drag out the welder and uh, tack these down. Well this is the welder that I'll be using. I bought this one off Craigslist for about 700 bucks which was a steal for what it is. This is a Miller Regency 250. It puts out a little more than 200 amps of DC power for MIG welding. MIG welding uses wire with the DC current to weld. It's known as the easiest way to weld, but that's as long as you know what voltage and wire feed speed to set it at. I've decided not to record myself welding just for the... it's not my camera at the moment, so I don't want to risk damaging it, and I don't have a protective shield for it. So we'll just have to see what it looks like afterwards. Well, all the welding on the underside is finished, and I actually surprised myself this first weld down here uh, actually looks better even though it's my worst weld it looks better than most of the welds that came on this factory built trailer uh, one part where I was lacking I tried to do some uphill welds but I'm not very skilled with those yet so as you can see the vertical there does not look as pretty as it could but again the second side looks much prettier and even though these may not be able to be certified uh, as a certified welder's welds, uh, they will definitely do the job. Especially when the old welds looked like that. I tipped it over and I just have three more runs to do. In the front, there, and back there. Then I'm done with the welding work for now. All those welds are finished. Now all I gotta do is clean it up and paint it, then I can attach the axles again so that I have a platform to work on to start with the upper body of the trailer.